record grief. It is now the afternoon, but welcome to another day of the video diary. And I spoke to you this morning. I walked down this hill very here, this very hill right here, talking to you. And then I got to school, and then we was doing an experiment in physics, because it's physics deep learning day. And, um, got there, and then Angus is doing an experiment with springs. And springs are mental, and you need to be able to see them in slow motion and stuff. And they were going to use like a 25, just a flip camera, to film it and slow it down frame by frame. And I'm like, well, my camera does 250 frames a second. Do you want to use this? And I was like, yeah, go on then. So I had to give them my camera, and in the process, deleted all of the footage from the camera. And the only thing I have left on the camera now is just one clip. And I don't even think it's interesting enough to show you. Unless I do think it's interesting enough to show you, in which case I'll show it you now. Wasn't that interesting, or wasn't it not interesting enough to show you what? You alright, Sid? What are you sitting there for? Doing a bit of sunbathing? Is that the only part of the garden that's... Uh, yep. Sunbathing. Getting your tan up. You need it. You're looking a bit pale. Get that tan topped up, dog dog. Get it topped up. So what I'm trying to say is, in a very roundabout way, is that I really did try to film for you today. I was going to film the experiment and the, like, the layout and everything, just like covertly, and I talked to you about it as I walked down to school, but then he took my camera from me to do his experiment, so I had to wipe my memory card, and then he was using it all day, so I couldn't even show you like part of it or part of the experiment or whatever, and oh, it was ever so annoying. Oh, I was so ready to like thing it, and then he was like, oh, can I just take your, can I um, take your camera home and then export it when I get home? I'm like, no. <laughs> I use my camera every freaking day for a reason that you're not allowed to know. So no, you can't do that. You can burn it onto a disc and be done with it. Woo! Yeah, so that would have been close if he'd have taken this. Because that would not have been good at all. I'd have been had, I would have missed the day of the video diary. Well, I wouldn't. I'd come home and pick a new memory card. But I only had the one memory card because um, I'd forgotten my, my camera bag as well. So basically, yeah, I had to fight to even bring you home. Even though it was, it was mine. But I had to have like the awkward situation where I was like... I don't really want you to take it home, to be honest. It sounds weird, but I use it every day and you're not allowed to know why, and yeah. So, anyway. The experiment was a typical uh, physics experiment, because if you've ever done physics, you will know that no physics experiment ever works. So, first things first, I was gonna do a particle accelerator. We did a preliminary experiment and it didn't work. So we went, okay, balls to it, we'll use do electromagnetic brakes instead, which basically involves getting an electromagnet Sending a piece of aluminium down uh, an air track, so it's like you know, like um, air golf, uh, not air golf, air hockey. That the one. It's kind of like that, but it's a track. It's a long track thing, and you send a thing down on it. So it's got like very limited friction and stuff like that. And it goes all the way down, and then as it goes past the magnet, it will, even though it's not magnetic, the metal isn't. It's aluminium. It's not magnetic. Um, even though it isn't magnetic, it will just slow down because of the eddy currents and all this physics or physics sea stuff. Um, I'm not sure how much you know. I'm not gonna just dis I'm not gonna give you a lecture on how eddy currents work. Look, it's a bit like maglev trains. Maglev trains work in the same way, except this is backwards. If you're really interested, I suppose you could just Google electromagnetic brakes. I suppose. So yeah, we did this, and we didn't get enough power. We had one thing with about like 4,000 coils in it, and we couldn't get enough power from it at all. We weren't generating enough power. But then if we'd have put a bigger thing in, then we'd burn through the wires. So what I thought was, okay. This is a halfway through the day now, I need some results. So I stayed all the way through lunch, even though I was going to go to maths and like talk to my maths teacher about getting stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. Um, I stayed all the way through lunch and I sat there um, and I sat there setting this up and it was an amazing rig and I'd, this is the bit I would have shown you if he wasn't going to use my, my camera in the afternoon. But essentially what it was, was a big um, long metal pole which was held up by three clamp stands because two, one on its own, would it would just rotate with all the weight on it. I basically had six coils on one side and six coils on the other side. So it was like two, two great big clamp stands holding 12 coils, all with wires sticking out of them. It was like, it was amazing that cell was. It looked awesome and I wish I had a photo of it. It was absolutely amazing. And guess what? Didn't work, not enough power, not enough, not enough magnetic flux density. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? It's a physics experiment. As if there's ever going to be enough magnetic flux density. <laughs> what are you looking shifty for? What are you looking shifty for? What are you doing? What? What's down there? Oh, what are you looking for? There's nothing down there, Sid. You've gone insane. You've gone clinically insane. There is no... Oh, I can see it. I can see it. I'm surprised you can, though.
So basically, with two hours left to go, after I'd spent an entire four hour stint on it, I went on and changed the entire experiment. Instead of using an electromagnet, I used a fixed polar magnet, and these magnets are strong. You like clamp them to one of the clamp stands, and that's it, you ain't getting that sucker off. They're like, get off, get off, get off of it. And then everyone else could obviously do it really easy because I'm just a weakling. But no, it was genuinely a really strong magnet. It was like, keep it away from your phone, keep it away from any memory card, anything electric, because it will just short it out instantaneously. It's like, okay, okay, right, set it up. And then we basically got a load of results. Um, I did a control. One with the really strong magnet, one with the one that was roughly half its strength, and I got 600 calculations of the speed, which basically means sending it through, then using light gates to figure out how fast it's going through each thing. Then the computer logs it all for you, and you get a mother ton of results. A mother ton of results. And I'm really depressed I didn't get to show it you, really. I am really am depressed. So yeah, anyway, I'm back home now. We get to come home an hour early because we did five hours. It's complicated. I usually have six hours today, but the last lesson's cancelled because all lessons are cancelled for the deep learning day. But then we make it up on the Friday when we usually leave an hour early, if that makes sense. And I've got work tonight, so I've kind of got like an hour to kill from what I normally used to. I need to start cooking around half four. So what I'm going to do, I could, I should sit and do some work, but the amount of work that I do on Mondays, I think that's a ridiculous thing to suggest. So stop suggesting it. So what game do you want to play, guys? What game do you want to play? Let's see if anyone else is on and then we'll see what they want to play. Also, I'm rendering out yesterday because I was rendering it now. Um, because otherwise, I have to sit up till about 3 o'clock in the morning editing. The Hunger Games is amazing. Read it. I'm really going to be pushing that. I want to get, I want to take um, Lovely down. I can't, she can't borrow this because it's on my Kindle. I might give it to her, depending on how soon I finish it. Um, and I'm, I'm sure she's busy anyway. I want to take Lovely down to the cinema to go and watch The Hunger Games with me. Um, because I think it's gonna be a really good film. Look up the trailer. It's genuinely amazing. Ah, can't wait. I might even read that instead. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna read The Hunger Games. And The Wonders of Amazon, and I'm gonna stop talking to you soon because this video is dragging now. Um, The Wonders of Amazon, those things that I ordered yesterday, my bookshelf, my bookends, and two of the three cables I ordered are already in the post. You're amazing to me, Amazon. I expect them tomorrow but they'll probably come the day after, they'll come Tuesday or Wednesday, which then means that my room will be completely finished as soon as all of that comes, and then I will be able to listen to music properly. Oh, and it comes to that time, I've been reading The Hunger Games, and my only downside, I think, to The Hunger Games is the fact that it's not my level of book, to the extent where I can see everything coming, and I'm assuming that it's gonna get all twisty and exciting at some point. Whoa, I'm tired, so mother drove me down to work. So I'll let you know, I'm not sure what's gonna happen tomorrow. Hopefully it's interesting. You never damn well know. I'll catch you later.